Good day. My name's Andrew from EnviroSafe Pest Management. Today I want to talk to you about silverfish. Now, silverfish can cost you a fair bit of money if they're chewing all your clothes and whatnot in your cupboards. Um, so what I want to talk to you about is how to prevent silverfish by looking firstly at what they need to survive. So silverfish like damp environments and uh, they like dark areas and they also like a lot of water. So what we need to do to make sure um, that they can't survive in your home is obviously reduce moisture levels. So if you've got taps or whatnot that are leaking or showers and bathroom areas that are left very damp, make sure you dry these areas off well and, and get that moisture level down. Also, if there's any um, holes or cracks and crevices where they can come through in cupboards, um, where they're not sealed properly, um, this is a bit of a problem as well. So all those areas need to be sealed off with a corking gun. Uh, which you can get from your hardware and silicon seal cracks and crevices. Um, now the silverfish themselves, they love starch, so pretty much uh, cotton garments, um, anything that's, um, what have you got, cotton linen, uh, they'll like cashmere, um, so pretty much um, things that they can chew away on uh, with starch in them, especially papers. So your paper, cardboard, cardboard's a real favourite of theirs. Uh, they like the uh, the starchy glues and stuff that wallpaper's hung with. So um, make sure your wallpaper's not um, flaking up around the edges and stuff because they'll chew away at that very quickly. Um, so yeah, they're going to be in those dark areas. So what we need to do firstly is to thoroughly clean the areas. So you're going to have to look for where the evidence is. Um, so when you find your silverfish, you need to make sure that those areas are, are well and truly uh, free of silverfish. So we want to clean the garments in a hot wash with soapy water and vacuum all the bottoms of your cupboards and whatnot and wipe them out thoroughly. Now your, your product to wipe them out with and to use regularly is lavender oil and I'm not talking about lavender fragrance, um, we're talking about pure essential oils, lavender oil. And uh, it is fairly expensive, it's $20 upwards a bottle and that's only for a small bottle of the stuff and uh, I think Coles and Woolworths sell uh, pure lavender oil in the health section. So you need to put that into a spray bottle and spray it through in, in cupboard areas as well in the back corners and stuff because they can't stand lavender oil. Now, uh, that's, that's spray to prevent them as well. Uh, now we need to look at baiting to actually kill them. So what we need to do here is before you put the lavender oils through your cupboards, we want to make sure we kill the population that's there. So the bait system is the best thing to use here and I would just get some caps of bottles and um, inside there you want to mix up some product to put in. So this is the formula that you need to use. We want to have one cup of oatmeal flour and that's ground flour, uh, half a teaspoon of white sugar and uh, a tablespoon of powdered boric acid. Now boric acid you'll get from um, uh, chemists or pharmacies in your area and uh, those products you just mix up into a paste and put into those little caps and put them in the dark areas of the cupboard. Once they've consumed all that product that'll wipe them out and then that's time then to hit all your lavender throughout the cupboards and whatnot. Uh, bear in mind, make sure those moisture levels are kept down. Uh, open up your windows, let the sunlight in, open up the cupboards, let the sunlight in there because they just don't like sunlight as well. All right, I hope that's helped today with uh, silverfish problems and you have a better understanding now of uh, what they need to survive. Thank you very much and don't forget to check out some of my other videos at uh, www.envirosafepestmanagement.com.au. Thank you very much. Thank you.